Hey, it's Jack Riccardi, and for just a minute, I have listened to all the commentary and all the news this morning about the messianic rise of Nikki Haley in New Hampshire, and I feel like we need to get real about this. So I'm going to say some things that you don't have to like, but they're true. The New Hampshire primary was last night. Donald Trump won that primary. He won it with over 50% of the vote, second straight time that's happened, despite having numerous challengers. He won a double-digit victory. He now has a 30-point lead in the next major primary state, which is South Carolina, her state, Nikki Haley's state. There is a Nevada primary or caucus between now and South Carolina, but South Carolina is the next major one. Back to New Hampshire. There are 221 towns in New Hampshire. She won 64 of them. That's about 29%. Uh, percent. Uh, from that, she actually gets nine delegates to Donald Trump's 12. It's an interesting formula. The Trump effect in New Hampshire and in politics is really this. No one else drives more of his own voters with more passion and enthusiasm than Donald Trump. But also, no one drives more of the opposing voters, the haters, to the polling places with such energy and determination as Donald Trump. So whenever Donald Trump is a candidate, his people come out in force and his haters come out in force. But his haters have to have someone else to vote for, and right now that's Nikki Haley. No one else generates donations of old GOP money to stop Donald Trump like Donald Trump. And again, that money has to go somewhere. They have to write somebody's name on those checks. And right now, that's Nikki Haley. And no one, certainly not Joe Biden, drives democratic energy and enthusiasm for stopping Trump like Donald Trump. Since Joe Biden is not a natural repository for enthusiasm, again, that goes to Nikki Haley. Don't take my word for it. CNN says 70% of Haley's votes in New Hampshire came from non-registered Republicans, people who are not Republican voters. Now, you can believe that she has converted them to Republicanism, or you can believe that she is voting or they are voting for her because they would rather put her up against the Democratic ticket, which is what I believe. So that's who Nikki Haley is coming out of New Hampshire last night. Despite the best efforts of people to keep the other narratives alive, these are just the facts. And that's what we always start with, and we will this afternoon when we start at 4 on 550 and 1071 KTSA. You can also find our show as an on-demand podcast. Just go to KTSA.com and pull down the on-demand menu or look for The Jack Riccardi Show wherever you like to get your other podcasts.